Hey guys, Lawson here, and welcome to another new episode of The New World. Now, if you guys missed the previous episode, what we did is we gathered up all the materials to make the gravity gun, but we did not craft it. I said I would save this for this episode, so first off, before we do anything, that's what I'm going to do. So if you guys are excited to see a new um, new world, if you will, um, please hit that like button and let's get to crafting this. So if I search gravity gun let's search it up real quick as you can see the crafting recipe is four ender pearls the glowstone two iron ingots obscene and a diamond now if i shift and left click this question mark it should not auto craft it um i did do this right right yeah that goes there that goes there that goes there these two go here that goes there that's oh that's what we're missing we're missing the diamond 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 wait a minute did I not? Ew, that's a problem. Um, I thought I got the diamond. Now I remember what I have to do. I forgot. I have a waypoint here to teleport to that emerald field thing we found last time, or at least I called it that. This field of all this ore. And I need to go mine up a diamond, which I didn't do. Oh, and guys, look, the redstone's fixed. You can't complain anymore about me crashing. I got the redstone fixed. But here, I'm just going to grab one diamond really quickly. Can't be bothered with anything else. Got the achievement diamonds. Going back home teleporting now we can grab it so let's grab our items out again and try this one more time so if i shift left click there we go grab it and as you can see we have the gravity gun and as you can see it's all cool with its animation of opening and closing and all that so if you guys don't know what the gravity gun does is basically if you right click a block on the ground you can pick it up as you can see it's got a cool animation and all that if you left click you can shoot the block and um, if you right click, you can actually place it. So let me just place that back down on the floor. You know what? Sure, sure. Why not? Let me just break that. And you guys might be no. What the heck was that? You guys might be noticing I did a few more renovations on the house. I added some chests. I organized a bit. Of, as you can see, we have all our ore chests right here. We got our money chest. We have our um, chest that I have not put stuff in yet, but soon will right here. And if you're wondering why there's dirt there, that, that'll that be covered up. Don't worry about it. And um, we have a few more chests here. And as you can, and there you go. And um, the minimap does show these um, chests as purple for some reason. Not entirely sure what that's all about. But um, anyway, today since we have the gravity gun, I thought what we could do is actually capture um, a villager or a YouTuber. Because if you don't know how they work, you basically um, can trade stuff with them to get cool items and whatnot. But... It's kind of hard just to keep going and finding them. So what I'm going to do, I think I said this in a previous episode, I'm going to eventually make a whole like town for them, either underground or somewhere near here where they'll be protected. But until then, I'm just going to go and hunt for just one of them. I'm going to put them in a hole here. So um, speaking of a hole, I'm just going to dig like a hole like right there, to be honest. like That's good enough hole for me, and I'm just going to teleport out of that hole. And then I'm just going to bring them here. So if you're wondering like how could I bring them here, I, you could never do that before. Well, now you can because with this gravity gun, as long as you pick up something, if you teleport, it the stuff or whatever you pick up will come with you, which is pretty cool. And that noise is kind of loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not as loud as I can, but um, can't bother with it. So it's actually nighttime. I'm going to sleep, let it become day, and there's our lovely diamond achievement right there. But um, af and now we are going to go on the hunt for our villager. Okay, before we leave on our hunt, I did want to harvest our little makeshift garden that we have here. We did not get around to making a complete garden yet, but right now we have enough to actually sustain a little bit of more food. So let's just grab that stuff up, run back to the house real quick, drop it off. I hear a zombie, which I do not want to die today. Hashtag goals, we are not going to die today. I refuse to die. At least to something ridiculous. Like, if I die to a lucky block, I'll, I'll, I'll out because, like, it's my fault. But, hey, we don't have to worry about that. We can just grab them and um bring them back here and just stack them all in a pile and open them all at once great idea right no and oh my gosh what the heck i didn't even know that was there Jeez, i was gonna say we're gonna be going a different direction for once and i didn't even realize that was there so remember our goal is to either get a villager i don't even care if it's a regular villager he's just a test subject right now i don't care how cruel that sounds he is um dr trailer stone hold a candle to what we're about to do and um and if you're wondering, I'm eating cooked wild bird. And you may also notice my pickaxe did break out of stone one. Now we are upgraded to iron. And what do you know? YouTubers right here. But I don't want any generic YouTuber. I think I'm gonna, I'll am i set a waypoint here in case we don't find anything else. But 
I do want to get a more a YouTuber that more people um know about. Like I want to try to find one of the structures and hopefully we can get a YouTuber that I actually know. Um, I do apologize if you see some YouTuber name that you do know and I do not. Please yell at me in the comments if you wish to. But like, as you can see, some of these YouTubers, they don't even have like a skin. Ash Ketchum right there. But like, look, they don't have any trades or um, any skin. This one actually has a trade. Ash, do you have a trade? Yeah, you do. Um, we may get Ash if we can't find anything else. But what am I saying? I think I just found a few structures. And I think I just found someone I actually know. So, what biome are we in right now? We are in the woodland biome. Nice. Has the weird logs on the side. Yep. As I thought, this is the um, popular MMO structure. It has Pat Gen in it. Um, the Gen's older skin, but uh, we only need one. So what I'm going to do is set a waypoint here. Call it um, Pat and Gen's structure. We will get the other one later on. I, don't, I did not spell that right. I do not care right now. I can't be bothered. Pat. Now, so here's how he works. I haven't picked up, as you can see. If I hit M to teleport, go to my waypoint, go to my first home, and teleport, he should have come with me. Yes? Pat? Why aren't you... What? But... This always worked before. Don't tell me it's because I have a different mini-map. Wait. Teleport? Where are you? Okay. You're picked up. If I go here, and I click teleport... It doesn't work. You've got to be kidding me. I relied on this teleport option. It's not fair. I, I'm serious. If I did this in a with a different mini map, there was a different map I used to use um when I played a 1.7, and this always worked with this. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this now? Um, well, we're not gonna give up on this. We are going to grab him this way, and hopefully we can um hold that thought. Just just let me open the door, shove you out. And I'm actually going to block this door off because I do not want anything escaping from here. So I'm just going to put that right there. Um, well, I guess what we're going to have to do is drag you all the way home. I mean, we're not that far away. This will work. And oh, wait, there's more door. There's another door. Hold still for a minute. I need to um, grab more wood. No, I don't want to cut down the whole tree. I just want one piece of wood so I can block off these doorways because I can't let anything escape. Okay, that's going to chop down everything. Um, 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 panic, 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 panic. Give me that. All right, place. Now, nothing can escape. At least I don't think so. And if it can, then I'm in trouble. But right now, come here. Come here, Pad or Furious Destroyer. Coming with me. Oh, wait. Wait, we're getting some frame lag. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the only type of lag that's going to happen now since... Is he following us? Bommy, are you really going to follow us? Okay, fine, fine. If you don't know, Bommy's like their pet from their um, YouTube series or whatever. But, um, yeah, I guess he's following Pat, so this will actually work out fine. I'll get two pets for the price of one. But I don't know what, I, what I'm going to do with Bommy. I might just kill him, because I don't want him blowing up in my house. And I believe this is the right way back to our house. Yeah, it's not that far away. And, um, like I was saying, the only type of lag we're going to get now is lag revolving around, um, just chunks loading in. I told you I fixed the, um, lag before with, like, it, it lagging way too much, like, every few seconds. And also... I fixed, like you saw, the redstone thing. So this is our only issue right now. And you may or may not notice I did add a, um, I updated the lucky block mod, like I said I would. And I gotta watch for that weird crevice thing right there. And I did, um, I also installed another mod. You may notice it may not. I'm not gonna give away the mod that I installed. You guys will figure it out if you see it. So, Pat, now that we're home, I hate how it, like, tries trading with them after I drop them. I'm being honest, it did not work like this before. It was a lot more simple to capture YouTubers, so I'm just going to open this door, push you in here real quick, because I can't be bothered with grabbing you and opening the... You know what? Fine. You asked for it. Get in there. Okay. So now that he's in here, I, I think he can open the door. That's why I'm doing it this way, so I'm just going to grab you. And now I'm going to drop you in this hole and um, have fun in there. And you know what? Yeah, I guess that works too. You're both in there. So now, if I right-click him, I can actually trade him money for iron, gold, diamonds, emeralds. And then if I give him the items, he'll trade back. He also will give me the TNT map destroyer for... five. Wait, $1,500. Wait, can I actually afford that? I reorganized my money. Where's my... Ooh, we might actually be able to afford that right now. So if I break this into 500s, which is pretty cool that you can do that, if you didn't know. Go to this trade. I'm actually going to grab this just to see. I'm not going to use it yet, but it'd be a fine... Oh, we can get regular TNT. We can get the Sword of Epic Proportions 
which is way too much money than I can afford. And we have the Clucky spawn eggs. And if you don't know what those do, they're basically like Lucky Blocks in the form of a chicken. But, um... It still costs a lot to buy these things. Jeez. And is there anything else? What else? No. I do know there is one that I do want to collect. Um... Um, YouTuber wise, there's one that actually will trade. I think it's the owner of the mod. He's in the mod himself, and I think he can trade for the structures that come into the mod because you can actually spawn them in that. So let's put the eggs away. TNT map destroyer, I'm gonna put in there. Um, I believe that's like the equivalent to like a nuke in like the TNT mods. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. And Bommy's in there, can't trade with Bommy, but he's just gonna play the part of 50 health and these all they all have 50 health another thing you can do with the youtubers is if you get enough money i think it's like a million dollars you can actually give it to them they act as like a um a companion type mob that will actually follow around and fight for you but right now all he's good for is just sitting in that hole so pat you enjoy yourself in that hole now that i finished i figured it would take the whole episode to find a good youtuber but um that's fine i'm not going to shove them all into this hole like i said i'm eventually going to build a Village or whatever, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Right now, we need to worry about... I guess I'll organize. Yeah, I didn't want to do this on camera, but since I have time, I guess we'll do that. So I need a lot of sticks and wood to start off. So if you don't know how I may, I organize my chest, I normally... um Well, that's way too much. I normally will make item frames, and I believe we had wool in here somewhere. Or not wool, leather. Yeah. I um, make item frames to label what goes on the chest, unless I have a crystal chest and I don't need that, but we don't have crystal chests yet, so I'm just going to place down item frames real quick. We do not have enough to make two more iron chests. We are out of iron, sadly. So what I think I'm going to do is grab up... Um, I can break this chest now. It doesn't matter, and I keep hitting the wrong keys. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to place this chest here. And that's why I have the um, slabs, the cherry wood slabs. It's kind of ironic. These things don't break instantly like the um, regular blocks, so I don't get why. But, um, yeah, I need one more chest. I guess I'll just make it. I didn't see any, so I'll grab that up. Place that right there. Okay, that becomes a double chest. I don't even care right now. I'm just going to put two item frames right there. Um, now, what else? We can put this stuff away. Now, I'm trying to think, how do I want to do this? I don't want to have any armor or weapons yet. I'm going to have a special area for those. But right now, I guess we can put the food up front. So, let's grab all the edible foods. That's edible. Rotten flesh is edible, but I'm probably not going to eat it this series. I normally eat it by my... Like, like if I'm playing Minecraft forever alone by myself, I do eat rotten flesh. Just because no one's around to tell me not to eat it raw. <laughs> raw but, um, can't worry about that. Definitely can't eat pufferfish. And is this really all the food I have? Wait a minute. I have wheat. How much wheat do we harvest? Not enough, but we do have enough to make one loaf of bread and get that achievement. So I'm just going to do that. Going to put the bread right there. Store all our food in here. We have two golden carrots, two regular carrots, and a clownfish to eat. That's just great. And we still have our two cooked wild birds. We're going to have to go for a food hunting episode. That might also be what I'll do this episode. But um, right now, what else do I point over there? Perhaps just building blocks. Um, I guess for now, since I don't really have any room to put anything else, I'll just put all the blocks right there. Actually, no, nope, nope. We're going to be more organized with this. I'm just going to put the dirt there. All, where'd that come from? All dirt based substances will go in this chest. That way, um, if I ever need to repair something quickly right outside, I can just go and do it because I am so OCD about the whole, um, dirt situation outside. It's quite annoying. Like if a career blows up or the stupid spring things come out of the ground, it's just a mess. But, um, now what, what do I want to put in these chests? Right now I can only put like three things. So I guess we'll have a chest for stone. We'll have a chest for wood. Let me just grab up all the stone, cobblestone counts. Um, I have a chest for all the wooden stuff. So I guess we can grab all wood-based materials. So I'll just do that real quick. And now we're getting a whole lot more organized, which I like a lot. So what do we have? We have wood stone. I apologize if my commentating is not um, that authentic or original right now. I mean, it can't be helped. I'm organizing. Jeez, I'm sorry. But, um... M -m 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 -m. Okay, so stone chest. I'm just going to open you up, shove all this um, stone based substance in here. Close that off. Over here we'll have our wood chest, which will be marked with a single wood plank. Grab up all our wood stuff, throw that in there. Why aren't these stacking? Aren't, like, this is a 1.8. Doors are supposed to stack. I don't know what's up with that. Um, 
I'm not gonna count a sapling as wood yet. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Didn't I have three different things? No, I have stone and wood. Hmm. Don't know what happened there. Um, I don't want to make a chest just for like any other kind of block. Not about that life, but I'm going to grab the stone sword because it's like stone, stone, like. Actually, no, not doing that. Not doing that. But what else do we have? We don't have much anymore. Oh, I know what I can do. I can grab all the like plant stuff. I don't know why I grabbed the glowstone. So plants and ingredients are next. So what else here? Pufferfish is an ingredient. Jack o' lanterns kind of an ingredient. I'm counting it as such. And uh, unless we'll do light source. Eh. Yeah, we'll do light source. Grab the eggs. In this chest, what do we have? We have rotten flesh, spider. I definitely agree. And poppy oak saplings, sugar cane, definitely an ingredient. Uh, blue hydrogen hy hydrangea. Hydrangea? Hydrangea. Um, we actually still have money in here. I did not notice that. Jeez, don't comment about that. Um, what is this? Hardened ice. No, 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 no. And I believe that is old ingredients. Yeah, there's. So I'm just going to put like a ingredient symbol right there. And again, I don't want to um, make the chest look any more weird than it already is. So I'm just going to not put anything in the second slot. But once we make it to a double chest, we will. And then now we're left with this stuff, which I can actually... Oh, we can actually make this work. Did that really have to happen? Come on, come on. I didn't want to do that. And I think there was an item outside, so I'm just going to break this real quick and look. Nope. See, best thing about a house that breaks almost instantaneously, you can, um... If you ever think you drop something outside, you can just run outside and grab it. And I just realized, the villager, um, over there, Pat, he's making a lot of, um, villager sounds. Um, if that does annoy you, please tell me I will turn my animal mob sounds down. I guess he's that... I guess that's what he is, but um, other than that, that should be fine. Now, the crafting table, I don't really need one here anymore because I have enough like in the corners over there. So I'm just going to put the thread there. Now, what was this going to become? Mob drops? Yeah, we can make a mob drop, so I'll just grab the gunpowder and that. Basically, stuff that I normally drop off a of mob. Sl snowball, I guess. Leather, yeah. Um, spider webs, possibly. Um... Clay, no. Glowstone, sure. No, wait, no. We need that for someone else. Um, I can just throw this all in here right now. So we have now a miscellaneous chest full of junk. What else? What else? We need more of those. More of those. Um, horse armor doesn't really drop off a mob. Um, I think that's it for that. Let me just throw all that in there. And I, I will make an easier way to access these chests. The um, item frames are just temporary until we can make crystal chests that I won't need them anymore because I can see through a crystal chest. Um, the gravity gun... I'm just going to toss in here right now because we don't really need it. I actually wanted to check. Do I have a backpack mod installed? Yes, I do actually. Um, If I search said backpack, can I make it? I just need leather. Do I have enough leather? I believe I threw that in the mob drops thing. No, I do not have enough le leather. We need to make said backpack. Make a mental note of that, Austin. You need to make a backpack. So you can store your stuff in it on the go and not have to deal with this. So I can store my, like, Ocelot pet in there and that. Which reminds me, is any food cooked? Oh, it's nighttime. I don't want to go out there. I'm going to sleep real quick. Um, and look, now look, my minimap just has nothing but purple dots on it. I need to figure out how to make it so the um, chests don't show up and stuff like that. I don't know why it's reading them as that. And oh my gosh, are we going to fight this thing? You know what? We'll fight this thing. It's that zombie horse and the um fallen knight versus me let's see how we can um kill this thing if we can kill it then achievements unlocked and wow does he do a lot of damage okay i took out the sword the the sword i took out the horse he was riding let's see what we can do he's he's got on um, full iron gear and he's got enchanted chest but oh he knocked his head off but i'm at half heart and he died because i decapitated his head thanks to that um what's it called the mob amputation mod yeah if you take out a mob's head it just instantly dies so that's good now let's get that regen back up eat our bird food now, can I cook rotten flesh? Let me see. Oh, I can to make... Ooh. Actually, if I grab this up and cook it right now, I'm sorry we don't have a... I forgot we had worms in there. Don't comment on that, but I forgot we had worms in there. That's food. What other... Um, you know what? Carrots give more saturation than worms. Worms, you can stay in there for now for food source. We got a four-leaf clover, which is good. I'm going to open that outside in a few right now, actually, while I'm waiting for the food to cook and the rotten flesh to cook. I guess that was the same thing I just said, but uh, anyway. So hopefully, let's open this. I'm going to go into this mode just so you can see it better. Four Leaf Clover, will you blow me up or will you give me the gift from gods? Let's see. And you gave me a sapphire helmet. 
Is that better than what I have on? It actually is by like a tiny sliver notch. So I'm just going to wear that. I'm going to put this helmet in this chest over here. Do not need. I also earlier um got a light green iron helmet. I don't know if you guys saw that or not from um if we're clever I opened off camera accidentally did not mean to apologies for that but yeah that's what I got can't really use it um we actually have five leather right now so if I take that five leather combine it with this three leather I get a backpack so and I'm not gonna make the um bigger backpack because you need to make like the bound leather and then tan get tan leather cook it and then turn that it's just the waste right now we have the regular backpack. We can dye it any color we want, which is what I think I'm going to do. But I can't because I don't have any dyes on me right now. I could get a white one because of this. So I guess we'll just do that right now just to show you how it's done. So if I just take one bone meal, put it next to the backpack and a crafting thing, we get a white backpack. So now it kind of blends in strangely. I don't know how I like the look of that. But now we can grab our ocelot, our instruction manual, and our um, gravity gun. I'll also grab the healing potion in case we ever need it on the go. And, um, you know what? I'll grab the Super Curly's Gamer's Bow, too. And we'll just throw all this in the backpack right now. It doesn't have a sorting thing, which is kind of weird. But now, this will hold our stuff in it forever. We can put this right here. And I believe if I hit B, I can name it. I can name it. No, that's a waypoint. What the heck? Oh, my. I think you can, um... There's a way to, like, hit a hotkey and actually access the backpack when it's, um, in your... Um, hop bar or whatever. But we only need one right now. We don't need game more backpacks at the moment. We can upgrade this one down the road if we get enough leather and string, I believe, for this. Yeah, tan bound leather is string in that. Then you cook it to make the tan leather. It's a lot of string. I believe it's actually like a stack of string you need to make it. But um Anyway, so we did that. I'm actually gonna take the TNT map destroyer and also No, I'm gonna keep that here because if I keep anything on me, like if I die, I'll lose the backpack and any contents in it. So Actually, do I want to risk the gravity gun? Well, honestly, right now, let's not risk the gravity gun just because I believe, um, 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 words are not forming in my mouth. Uh, we can't really use the gravity gun right now because of the whole issue. We can't teleport. So, the gravity gun's only use is for transporting things that are already here, unless there's something nearby. There is a patch of villager um youtubers which i'm extremely happy about now because now whenever we start our um village we'll have to get things that are closer to us so i know jen is over there somewhere along with ash ketchum and his skin not actually ash ketchum but like his skin and um, a few other youtubers which is perfect let me grab these worms and eat them which is perfect yeah if we ever need food i don't know if you guys saw last i installed this worms mod so now anytime we need food oh there's a cricket outside look at that He's from the new mod I installed, but um, I was wondering what that noise was. So now, if um we ever need food, all we have to do is really dig up dirt. At the price of getting attacked by those weird um dirt slinky things, um we can also get worms or whatever and cook them up. They don't give a lot of saturation or hunger, but I believe that was the same thing I just said. They don't give a lot of saturation, but the um one good thing that they do is they come in abundance of food. Like you can get like four of them at a time or whatever. But anyway, guys. The time frame for this episode is coming to a close. I know it's kind of sooner than later, but um, I'm just going to end it off here with eating this worm. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, slap that like button right now. Subscribe if you want to see more modded content like so. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.